Mister, what is it like being a coach and a teacher? It's pretty weird. Yeah, what does it feel like? What does it feel like? Go, tell us, tell us the details. I can't really tell you, but I can show you. All high school students are destined to one day grow their wings and fly. It was time for Tremaine to fly and pass on the mantle as a tricking coach to a younger generation. But not until after a sacred axillary ritual. Have fun. Good ball. Awesome. We are at the Axilia headquarters, located at the Tokoroa High School gym. Hidden from plain sight are a bunch of young bloods devoting themselves to tricking. Tricking means a lot to me, as in like building friendships, building stamina, building fitness, building health. You don't have to be good, you don't have to be bad, you can just be the way you are. And I like that. <laughs> Tricking to me is very unique. Uh, some of the people you meet in the community are going to be some of the nicest people you ever meet. And you know, I'm really glad that I had that tricking has led me to meet those people and gain those experiences. Like the chemistry, you don't have to be, you know, 
shy, hidden away in the corner. There's real spirit and people will acknowledge it. It means more than just flips, kicks and twists. <laughs> You could say I probably wouldn't be sitting here right now if it wasn't for it. Um, I would not have the job I have now, I would not have the life I have right now without tricking. I would probably have a very standard, boring 9 to 5. Tricking means a lot to me because it has become a big part of my life. Without it, I wouldn't be half of who I am today. And it has helped me mentally, both mentally and physically. And it has also taught me to get up every time I fail and try again. When you're tricking, you really know you're doing something quite special. Tokoroa High School was having a talent quest, and of course, the students wanted to show off their tricks, but that was mostly to impress their crush. I've got a good idea. So we start, one person walks in, act like they're training over at can't wait to start training, and then they do like little combo. Someone else from the other team walks in, they'd be like, you suck. You suck. And the other person's like, all right then, let's have a battle. Oh, man, let's have a tricky battle. Other person goes, what's a battle? Uh, what's the battle? Mister comes in. A tricking battle, you might say. And explains to the big audience. Hello. Well, ladies and gentlemen, tricking is a mixture of kicks, flips, twists, and no, it's not gymnastics. We call them that. What a battle is. <laughs> a battle you might ask. Let's go. Well, it is simple. These trickers are going to be in teams and they're going to outclass their opponent by doing their tricks. Pretty simple, right? That's such a good idea. Wow. Whoa. That was definitely... <laughs> <a good idea. laughs> Alright, that's us then guys. That's us. Our nerves were high, but we were ready to put on quite the show. We won $50. That's one more cent than $49.99. Let's go! In the previous episode, we made a scenic autumn sequence. But in this episode, you are getting all four seasons. is like water. It is fluid, it is transient, it is changing. You are something the whole universe is doing in the same way that a wave is something that the whole ocean is doing.
a magnificent illusion. And there is absolutely nothing, nothing to be afraid of. Start dancing, yeah, yeah, here we go. <laughs> there we go. So anyway, she was talking about some He got too excited, he was like, hold on. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Oh, no. Why should people do trekking? Well, trekking is good for your mental health. If someone lands a trick, everyone like gets super hyped. <laughs> People should do trekking because it's a cool spot and isn't mainstream, so it's cool. It's like a very welcoming and it has so much benefits, like it strengthens your mindset and your body. I think girls can do trekking as well, not boys, girls can. Girl power, it's the only problem yeah. that is. Girl power, let's go. Oh, because you uh, get outside the house, talk to your friends, train and have fun. It's just a really good way to meet new people and exercise. If they just want to learn how to do some tricks. Community and they'll support of everyone else when you learn your trick and that. People should do tricky so they don't get old and fat so they can stay active. Learning something new and it's fun because it's a fun sport and everybody gets along. Can look like Spider-Man. Yeah. I mean, there's really no reason not to. I mean, you get you get to meet cool people. You get exercise. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good way to like express your movement or like how you're feeling through well through movement. Tricking. Is a place where you can get all your energy out, all of it, and you can also make new friends, make new bonds, and push your boundaries of your comfort zone so much further than what it was before. And if all that didn't convince you, hopefully this will. What the? Who are you? What the? 
What the hell? <laughs> Bring him outside. He's gonna do some flips. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's going on guys uh, some friendly men have showed up to my house and they're gonna say they said we're gonna do some tricking or they'll cut my legs off so let's get right into it <laughs> Yay. do flips <laughs> yeah. uh, join now The battles with the juniors were very impressive. It was quite a big step up um, from last year's battles. My favorite moment this year was battles because like I landed this like really cool trick that I've like never learned before. I think with every consecutive year, we have the skill level will naturally increase. Maybe one day in the future, your standard combo might include a triple fall or like a, a double cork. I really can't wait for that day to happen. We're going to move on to the most anticipated battle, which is of course um, the two coaches, the two guys, Because like, he was always my rival and best friend, even out of tricking. He's just been like another brother, basically. Brother from another mother. It was good versing a rival after training as alongside him all year, you know, watching him grow with me as well. You know, seeing what tricks he can learn, seeing how I can, you know, one up him in a battle. chance you know I felt like I was uh, studying him like a species people thought the judges needed more time to think about who did better but they actually just needed to go to the toilet moment was battles and I found out Gus was the king the battle with Mr. Parkinson felt like a boss battle uh, you know I've been grinding all year getting those tricks landed preparing for the beast Mr. Parkinson the battle with Gus was a real coming-of-age story for him I think 
But that doesn't mean I was planning on losing. In fact, I was planning on winning using the same tactic politicians use, bribery. My bribery only corrupted half the judges because it was a damn tie. The hardest part about this was that we've actually never landed these tricks before. What motivated me to land the side flip, or the double side flip that I did, was definitely the crowd. A great crowd cheering you on will definitely give you the hype and motivation you need to land a big trick, especially when they're all cheering for you specifically. I couldn't care less if he was my student or not. I was not gonna lose. It was at this very moment I knew that Gus was going to land it. Definitely a big step for me beating my own coach. It's definitely marked a point in my journey where I know that I've improved a heap since I've started. But you know, this is still this is still the beginning. Still got more to come. People should do tricking because it gets the girls. <laughs> oh yeah? yeah? Expand on that. Uh, I did a flip and like this girl got interested and I got her at. <laughs> <laughs> This segment will display exactly how this unfolded. OMG, where the hotties at? Oh wait, here's a cutie. Hey, how's your day going? Good. Just doing some flips, MA. Don't flip! Say I have a new girlfriend. And I know it sounds so old, but Cupid got me in Oh wow, that's dank. But but can you do a backflip? The flip you did was like so high. Yeah. Like, how do you flip and kick like that? Because I'm, I'm the best. You're the best? Yeah. Remember kids, do flips. Help me. The one big highlight would be NZTG because that was when I started to think of tricking in a different perspective, in a, in a better way. And it just made me want to trick more. Every year, trickers from around the country take the pilgrimage to get to NZTG, otherwise known as the New Zealand Tricking Gathering. A place full of the best trickers and the coolest people you'll meet. It's just a place any tricker would want to be, to be honest. Yo! Yo! 
it's just just drives you to push more and more and like further on. Yeah! Of course, some of the Exilians took the opportunity at NZTG to jam at the open sessions and throw down in the friendly team battles. With a bit of encouragement, Carl and Gus also entered the 1v1s. Before the 1v1s, it was it was like I'd rather curl up in a ball in a corner and just like start rocking. Just like because well I was versing Aaron who could like potentially just do a pull and back out whenever he pleased. No! But it also did drive me to try my hardest during the battles, which I did. But, you know, I did have a very, very respectable opponent. Shout out Daniel, aka Jesus. How do you feel about the battles? I'm feeling great. Feeling good. Feeling awesome. Jay Swillis, we be the realest team on the billets. Watch out, I kill it, watch out, I spit it on the mic, fill it. Y'all can't do what I do, just admit it. I'm about to get it, money, money, get it. Drop it to the floor, shake my big bit, it's popping like did it. My face yeah. look pretty. Y'all ain't doing shit, no, I done did it. Cause I'm marvelous, we top of less. So bad chick, the flow sick, like oh shit, you know this. I'm too fit to ever quit. Knocking these fools, I like pool sticks. I do this, I move this, I yeah. do this. Bars be hard like a pound of bricks, it go. I know you Gus, how was your first ever proper battle? No, it was good. I landed everything I wanted to, and um, I had my emotional support. MVP right here. Yeah. Yeah. And who's that? Oh, that's this is my wife. Yeah. What's her name? Um, Hatsune Miku. Show the back! No! It was good. I stumbled every combo, but it was fine. Cause I had fun. Yeah! That's yeah. it. That's all that matters. It was still sad, day. but it was fun. Uh, very nervous, obviously. You know, you got the eyes of Phil Gibbs and some of the best trickers in New Zealand looking at you. So it's gonna rattle you a bit. Whoa, 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 wait. Did he just say Phil Gibbs? Got the eyes of Phil Gibbs. He did. So you might be thinking, who is this guy? And why is he so important? Time for a tricking history lesson. <laughs> Phil is the first person in the world to land triple cork from a B-twist setup. You're twisting the bee twist around yourself and you're trying to swing from this position here. That sucks. So you're trying to get more inverted. And he came all the way from Australia to NZTG to judge and do a seminar, funny enough, on bee twists. Oh my god, don't even get me started on this. Meeting Phil Gibbs was like meeting my dad for the first time. Super approachable and an amazing tricker. Yo! And also I'd like to thank Phil Gibbs for teaching me or like helping me with my technique with that beat twist because you know I got that one one finally. Yeah! Yo! Yo! Yes boy! I've been wanting that for a while now, so thank you. Phil also made a visit to Exilia's trusty HQ. I think this is... Ah, oh, see you there. All right, looks right. Sick. Oh my God, is that Phil Gibbs? Hi. Oh my God, is that Phil Gibbs? Can you sign my fee? Ooh, well. Sure thing, sweetie. You look expensive. Yeah, big old smiley. Yeah. There you go, sugar. Thank you, Phil Gibbs. Hey, thanks. Oh, really. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can call that an episode. Yeah, oh please. my god. <laughs> Ex 
Cecilia was nominated as a finalist for youth engagement in the Waikato region. And we sent our most mature representatives to the awards dinner. Commitment to youth engagement awards celebrates an individual or an initiative who inspires and grows young people to be involved in physical activity opportunities. Finalists are Axilia Tricking. Yeah! Commitment to youth engagement. All about Exilia tricking. Exilia is the name of our club. Like yeah. it's on the our t-shirts here. This is our logo. Knowing that we were even nominated for the top three finalists was huge. It was huge. It's not like a small feat. Okay, being nominated from Sports Waikato was absolutely hype. If we want to lose, no matter what, we're still champions in my books. In my eyes, I see a champion. 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 No matter what. Champion. <laughs> we are the boys here. We are excellent. And we will strive to make everything better. World peace. <laughs> <laughs> this was a very special uh, category of finals. Look like everyone tonight. And um, the commitment to youth engagement. What the, you know, these uh, finals have been doing is just superb. And um, we're really giving that youth an opportunity. Um, we couldn't split two, so um, for this we picked, there are two winners and I'm delighted uh, to announce our winners for the 2022 Youth Engagement is Exilia Tricking. <laughs> for the guild for tricking as a whole amazing award to accept this is the biggest thing we've ever done I feel like Cilia has the right to say we started from the bottom now we here and I also spoke to 200 plus people, and that was scary. Coming from eight people to almost 30 people now is amazing. It was just me and these fellows here with the OGs, and it's just... <laughs> <laughs> That's all I can say it is, you know? OGs. <laughs> but... uh, gathering, I definitely want to go to in the future, is hooked. Uh, Mr. My coach has just been recently and he's he's sounds pretty fun. So definitely somewhere I want to be hooked is like uh, The biggest tricking gathering in the world. I guess like the tricking world champ is crowned at hooked and oh Man, it's so sick Hooked is held in Amsterdam every December. All the best trickers from around the world gather here to train and compete in intense battles. You wouldn't think I'd take some cheeky pics with the pros doing the axilia hand sign?
Oh, no, you were all waiting for it. Of course, I made Shose do it too. All right, fellas, today we're out here. We're going to be cooking some duck. And you know what you need to wear when you're about to cook? Axilia apron. Take a good geese at this. Ooh. Wow, I sure wish I had a plate for my burger. Axilia plate. Now I can enjoy my cheeseburger. Oh, our baby looks so ugly. Uh, excuse me, sir. Are you a baby owner? Yes. Well, then it looks like you need axilia baby clothes. Put them on your baby. Man, this is so lit. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Are you thirsty? Yeah. Would you like to take a drink out of this premium axilia water bottle? Yes, I would love to. It's very good. All right. What's the next product? Axilia themed frisbee! You wanna have some axilia themed fun at the park with your mates? Here you go. Yo. Are you tired of these ads? Yeah. Me too! Sleep through all of them with the axilia pillow! Get on there. Wow! Bored on a rainy day? Need something to do with the kids? Here we got Axilia Puzzle. 110 pieces of fun. I've had a good night. I want to spend all my nights with you. Oh my god. Wait! Are you getting married? This is a boring ring. And get the Axilia ring. Guaranteed matrimony forever and ever. Will you marry me? Yes. Guaranteed satisfaction. Excuse me. This is boring pencil. Get out of here. You need this axilia pen. Works in any situation. What guy, what situation are you guys in? That'll work. It does work. <laughs> Mister, what is it like being a coach and a teacher? Back to this question, eh? Well, here's the answer to the teacher part. Two plus two equals four. So we're at New Plymouth. Spot number one, iconic. Being a tricking coach and a teacher is likely a new frontier for the sport. But I drew my inspiration for Axilia from my beginnings in New Plymouth, where I was a young teenager obsessed with doing flips and later stumbled upon a group called Team FYM. My and many others' lives were about to change forever. These guys are called Extreme Flippers from Sweden. They were my initial inspiration to get into flips. And that's me, back in 2011, trying to imitate them. A year later, I met Team FYM. And uh, if you're wondering who these guys are, this is Free Your Mind, F-Y-M. Uh, they're very good, we've been, and they're quite funny as well. I spent the last five minutes discussing how we were gonna hold our arms in terms of pushing out the biceps just a little bit to look impressive. I firmly believe that you are a product of your environment. FYM in New Plymouth is the environment I grew up in and some of the best times of my life was being in FYM. Me up. 
I guess with Axilia, I wanted to replicate what I had with FYM to a new generation of trickers, movement enthusiasts today. I think by this point in my life, I will probably always uh, be tricking until I physically can't. I want to be that granddad that's still doing backflips on the trampoline when the grandkids are over. <laughs> that's me. That's what I want. I know that's what I want. the best tricker and I probably never will be but that's not why I trick I trick to be better than who I was yesterday looking good lads looking good we're about to go confuse Misha's old friend who was part of his FYM group and he has no clue we're coming we went to go surprise my old coach Dan because it would be touching to see all the generations come together the boys went inside to pretend to buy a vacuum cleaner, and this is definitely how it played out. Okay, no, not really. Oh. <laughs> Three, two, one. Nice. The old man still has it. <laughs> Axilia is called a guild because it was inspired by the anime fairy tale, which is about a wizarding guild. Axilia to me was just a name that I made up. Um, it didn't mean to me anything at the time, around early 2020, but today it has become something that means something to a lot of people. Exilia means family. Like a big family group. Exilia to me felt like a second family. I was welcomed with open arms. Our guild, we all open arms. We all treated, treat each other like family. I guess today it's Axilia literally means a safe place or a comfortable place with or just the place being a group of people where people come together and practice their tricks without the fear of judgment or anything like that and it's just pure fun and energy. Yo, yes, yes, yes!
vibe that Exilia has, it's really absolutely amazing. The hype, the energy, the adrenaline for it, absolutely love it. If I did not meet them, I wouldn't have been who I am today. Like half of half of me is basically like Exilia. <laughs> I think Exilia means free spirit. Oh my god, is it tray flip? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> so there you have it. The ultimate Axilia origin story. But what do the two current faces of tricking from Tokoroa High School have to say about their future? <laughs> I'll probably still coach or like teach new new trickers. And also for like maybe long term, I'll probably be making a lot of samplers. So watch out for those. I definitely want to become one of the best in New Zealand and compete in big tournaments. Being the best at something in your respective country, I feel like is a really great feeling to have. And I feel um, if I keep at it at the pace I'm at, then you know maybe in a year or two, I could be there. Oh look, we're back at the place from the beginning of the episode. But where is that? Yo! We're actually at a camp that happens at the beginning of each year for all new high school students. And we get to teach the basics of tricking to them. Being a coach to me is definitely a big job because what it is is pretty much me shaping the future of tricking. I remember my first coaches uh, and how amazing they were and how, how much they motivated me to want to keep doing tricking and keep going. So without them, you know, I probably wouldn't be where I am today. Being a coach is somewhat a big role because, well, I'm basically teaching the next generation. Everything I learned by myself and from other coaches, I'm passing it on to the next gen that could potentially teach the next gen after them. In the end, there will always be another beginning. That is how the passing of the mantle works. It will be up to each generation to make sure that tricking thrives. Well, here we go again. Awesome. <laughs> really confused. On what line do you want me to say? Chicken in the gym coat with Mr. Pocky saying, Bro, and I brought the drip. About to throw a double backflip. Do 
doing tricky no day. Gotta be as good as Tremaine. The year's almost done. Do a corkscrew in the sun. 